Hi there everyone and welcome to this new video on the Barbie movie by Greta Gerwig starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. The movie had two huge premieres, one in Los Angeles and one in London. This video is a review of all the Barbie-inspired looks that were showcased at the London premiere. But if you're also interested in a video or a review of the Los Angeles outfits at the Los Angeles premiere, just let us know in the comments here below and we'll make a video reviewing the Los Angeles premiere outfits. So now, without any further ado, let's dive into the Barbie-inspired looks at the London event. The first one up is our Barbie superstar, Margot Robbie. Robbie wore a costume dress by Vivian Westwood. Once again, she channeled the iconic Barbie perfectly with this look. It really felt like we were looking at the actual Barbie. This time, she paid homage to the 1960s enhanced evening Barbie. The light pink silk evening gown was finished with a frilly tool detailing around the neckline, corsage-like floral tie at the hip, and a fitted corset-like bodice. She accessorized with evening gloves, a sparking, sparkling high heel mule sandals, and a three-stand choker featuring oversized pearls. Now, this look was her absolute best Barbie look. You look at her and it actually screams Barbie. So all thumbs up for Margot with this look at the London premiere. Let's move on now to our Barbie Ken. Ryan Gosling. Ryan looked great in this Gucci pastel colored two-piece suit that he wore and he matched it with he had he was wearing this mint green lapel blazer with the full length sleeves and patched pockets and he styled it with matching straight fitted pants a light pastel green linen shirt and a white dress shoes he looked really great and it felt in a way refreshing that he actually moved away from the pink sort of outfits that he was wearing on previous occasions which were Absolutely stunning anyway, but really super love this look. He looked very smart, he looked very, very cool, and he looked very Ken. Will Farrell. Will Farrell wore a pink tie and he brought his whole family to the event, including his sons Matthias, Axel, and Magnus, and his wife Viveka Paulin. Uh, of course, he was not particularly like Barbie style, but the pink tie did the trick for us. Alexandra Ship. Uh, the actress paired her pink Versace suit with a glittery butterfly bra. The idea of the sparkling bra under the blazer was actually kind of good for the Barbie event, but unfortunately the reality didn't live up to the idea. This look was was not like on spot. Something was missing there. Greta Gerwig. The film director was perfectly on team and she dazzled us in this beautiful shimmering pale pink cape gown by Erdem. The jewelry was by Cartier and the clutch was the Chimichu Micro Cloud. Very Barbie, very on theme. We also like the idea that she was a little playing with her outfit between director and actor, like movie star. We really like this outfit. Issa. Issa Rae. She was also popping in this uh, pink uh, superstar outfit. And she went for this uh, party ready mini hot pink dress. Shop Art Jewels completed the look and the thing is that the color was great, very Barbie, but the design was really underwhelming, especially on her. Harry Neff and Jeremy O'Harris. Neff and Harris actually decided to go with the darker tones and they took this kind of dark turn. Neff actually kind of stunned 
uh, on the runway with this Dilara Findoklu knife dress and Harry was in this dramatic suit and tie. The thing, however, about Neff's look is that the bodice was not bad, but the skirt was, let's say, dreadful. And it kind of brought the entire look down. So stunning, but possibly not in the best way. Simon Liu. Liu wore a Fendi Spring 2024 ensemble featuring black sleeveless halter neck, color top with silver floor embroidery, and wraparound sleeves paired with matching straight leg trousers. He accessorized this look with David Yorman jewelry. He delivered a perfect doll action man look. So even if the tones were dark tones, and you might think they're not in line with the, let's say, Barbie style. He delivered a perfect Barbie man look. Emerald Fennel, the British director, had a Barbie moment of her own and she wore a Schiaparelli coat dress with matching headband and Manolo Blahnik pumps. Dua Lipa. Now, Dua Lipa was probably one of the best looks of the night, so, so Barbie. She wore this Versace dress from her own co-designed collection. She started this cooperation with Versace, um, and the collection is Versace La Vacanza, and she, she actually is collaborating with Versace. With its gold chain straps, the multicolored floral design, the deep v-neck and the pretty cutouts on the chest, she actually sparkled in this dress. She completed the look with these maximalist accessories, including the thick choker necklace that featured the typical Versace signature gold coins, but also butterflies. And then she wore this matching bracelet pretty butterfly rings and a pair of très très chic baby blue strappy stilettos. This was one perfect Barbie look. Maybe some might say that it had quite a lot going on and in a way it did but uh, this is Barbie and this is a perfect Barbie outfit. Emma McKee. Emma wore a silver Saint Laurent satin silk dress with a plunging neckline. She completed this look with the dainty diamond necklace. And the look was pretty honestly bland for a Barbie pink carpet. I mean, it's okay, but uh, probably not for a Barbie pink carpet. Nkuti Gatwa. Barbie's Gatwa also went with the shimmery route as he wore custom Valentino sparkling silver shorts and a custom Mason Mitchell hat. He also completed the look with Tiffany jewels and uh, in this case maybe he was trying a little too hard because the overall look felt a bit awkward. Nicola Colan and here we are speaking of real sparkle. Nicola channeled old Hollywood glamour in this custom-made bejeweled silver Witterhofer dress. And the gown was also made in collaboration with the sustainable fashion brand Tencel, which was a really good idea. And she wore this Malone Solier's heels and she really sparkled in this gown. It was a fantastic choice, really looked very good on her except for the choice of the ankle strap shoes that really didn't go well with that specific dress length. Sam Smith. Smith really turned the pink carpet into a 90s moment and dramatically oversized a sweatshirt and jeans. The look was pulled from the Vitement Spring Summer 2024 collection. He surely did make a statement and he definitely was the anti Barbie at the Barbie London premiere. So probably a bit too much of a statement because yes, of course you want to look different, but uh, in this specific case, maybe it was just a bit too much. Jimmy Demetrio. 
the comedian kept it extremely neutral and he really rocked this very sleek brown suit. America Ferreira. Ferreira brought the evening glam in this plunging black gown by Roland Murray, which she accessorized with matching gloves and Giuseppe Zanotti shoes. The dress was perfect and she really looked very well in it. Maybe the neckline was just a bit too wide on this dress. Jordan Dunn. Dunn looked like a real life Barbie in Harris Ford for Nina Ricci design with Cartier jewelry. We really loved this vinyl Barbie look that sort of oozes Parisian flair and even the way she was actually wearing it and all the poses she really looked like a genuine Barbie even if the color might not be too Barbie-esque she looked like a genuine Barbie with all those poses uh, this was perfect Amelia Amelia's outfit was designed by Zoe Lu it included a pink check jacket with black lining on the lapels and a black top with a sweetheart neckline. She completed the look with black platform heels with bow accents. She looked very much Barbie with this look. Leomi. Leomi Anderson. Leomi flaunted her toned figure in this pale pink bra and tiny sequin skirt from Nancy Dujaka. She wore sparkly heels, a hard handbag, and diamond earrings. It's undeniable that she served up a fun-loving, sugary look with this one. Nadine Coyle. She blended in with the barbiecore aesthetic, wowing in this hot pink suit with black buttons that she wore with a low black top. Adwa Boa. She was completely off team, sorry to say that, as she took to the red carpet in the Saint Laurent Fall 2023 look. The outfit featured a black leather skirt, black tank top and oversized cream colored blazer. It's like she didn't get the memo, it's like she was not dressing for the specific event, she was just dressing for a random event but certainly not for the Barbie London premiere. Sharon Rooney. Sharon Rooney looked like a vision in this blue, gorgeous Natalie and Alana dress with an oversized bow under the bust. The actress accessorized the look with silver earrings and silver heels. AJ Odudu. AJ perfected plastic fantastic in a bubblegum pink mini dress featuring a metallic bralette with cutout paneling. We hope you liked our super pink Barbie review. Let us know in the comments what you think about the London premiere looks and who was your favorite. If you did like the video, please subscribe, like and share. Let us know if you would also like us to review the Los Angeles premiere. And bye for now and watch this space for more. Bye!